Good morning. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Amy and I have finished my five years of law school and I start my career as a trainee solicitor in September. So, welcome back to a weekly vlog. I haven't done one of these in a good couple of weeks, honestly. Um... It is Tuesday today, so we are starting off pretty much at the start of the week. I filmed yesterday, which was why I didn't start yesterday. But it is a rainy day in Scotland today. It is not nice at all. Um, I am just chilling on our new couch. Um, and I'm about to make some breakfast. We've got a whole host of things to do today. I was supposed to run outside, but I don't know if you can see how positively disgusting it is out there so i'm probably just gonna go and do my run at the gym um so that's my plan and yeah let's make some brekkie and then i'm gonna edit the youtube video from yesterday before i go i think and just kind of clean up a little bit and then we will head off to the gym so let's make some breakfast first Okay, YouTube is done and I think I'm gonna walk up to Urban Outfitters and buy a new Stanley Cup. <laughs> um, I did something so funny that I basically like accidentally gaslit myself like in the best way possible with my tax return um, and I actually put away way more money than I thought than I like I put away way more money than I actually needed to because I did the calculation wrong or like I didn't do the calculation wrong but like I did, just didn't factor in like the personal allowance that you are allowed to have before you start paying tax <laughs> so I just put away basically 20% of every single thing that I made so then I was like perfect and then I was like what better way to reward myself for being bad at maths and accidentally positively gaslighting myself than going and getting a new Stanley Cup that like seals on the top because I think it'll be perfect for taking to the Philippines so I feel like I might meander my way down to to Urban Outfitters do that there's like a little home store in Buchanan Street that's just open so I might go in there have a little look-see um so that's pretty much my plan I think I'm gonna put the washing on because that's on my list to do for the day I got these Shox headphones and they aren't working properly so 
that was also on my list to email the them like I've emailed them already but they asked for like all of the information for the warranty so did that um edited youtube so basically all that's left for me to do is run so i think i'm gonna go out get some fresh air get energized get a stanley come back either run outside or go to the gym early for yoga and run then all i've got left to do is make a bolognese for dinner so i've got a bit of time to kill might as well go and get some steps and get some movement in for the day and see if we can get ourselves a cute little stanley so let's go put some washing on and get dressed. Okay, we are ready and I've made a gorgeous little tuna pita. So I'm gonna scan this and then we're gonna head um, down to Urban Outfitters. I'm also gonna check if there is a coffee pod thing that needs to be recycled and I can take that to Nespresso also. So that's the plan. Okay, lunch was devoured and oh, I need to check. I just put that on for a little spin situation. Um, do we have any bags? None of them are. Let's go to the guys. That's fine. We'll leave that for now. I can take that at a later date. Um, but yeah, we are going to head. I'm going to turn her off. See ya. We're gonna go. We secured the goods. I also, wait a minute, till I flip you round. I also stopped by iCafe cause my bestie Paige works in there, so she was working. Got myself a little butternut, but, no, butterscotch, not butternut squash latte, which is so tasty. So I'm just arriving at Lee Flat now. And then we are gonna do a massive cleanup operation. Then we're gonna go and do our run. So I'll show you the Stanley when we get in. So we really did time that little outing very well because it is so dark now and it is raining again. So that is gross. But what we're gonna do is stick on a hoodie and we're gonna put on some music, I feel, because I just don't think like TV or Netflix is gonna do it. So we need some music to motivate me and I'm just gonna clean this place up. So, oh, also forgot. How cute is she? I'm obsessed. I think the purple is so nice. They also have the orange one. Um, and I don't know if I feel like I should have got that one. Can't decide, but I like the purple. So we are good with her. So yeah i just need to basically hang up this washing here do the dishwasher and then just like tidy up a little bit but honestly it's not that messy and then i'm gonna just cook the bolognese for dinner and then i'll see what time it is and we will head off to the gym and then i have yoga too so we've got a busy little afternoon
we are off to you. morning you guys um i actually don't think i spoke to you after i got back from yoga yesterday so went to yoga it was super good um had we did yin which if you don't know what that is is basically like a much less like active yoga it's like a lot you stay in the like poses a lot longer and like try and get them a lot deeper so it was really really good i love that kind of yoga and we normally do that before like new moon um <clears throat> so then after that we came back what did we do Oh, we went for a little walk actually because I needed to get my 12,000 steps. So we did that um, and then we came back and Callum watched the Euros. I showed him all the TikToks I'd sent him over the last couple of days because actually, fun fact, Callum doesn't watch the TikToks when I send them to him. I just send them to him and then we sit down together and watch them all because it is my favourite activity. It's so funny. So like we just sit down and watch all of the ones that I've sent him together. And I think it's way more hilarious than him just watching them by himself. So we do that. Um, and then... Yeah, that was it. We had bolognese, which was super tasty for lunch, uh, for dinner, rather. Um, so yeah. So today, I have to do... Uh, 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 a little high rocks workout at the gym. And then I'm going to go for a swim and a sauna. Um, and then... What else did I have to do today? I have a list, but I don't think I have that much to do today, which is good. So Callum is going to the south of France next week with work. I know. Um, and he needs some like little clothes bits. So I said to him, he needs to get a haircut after work tonight. So I said to him that I would go to H&M for him um, and see if there's like some little bits that he needs. Like he needs some like, tr oh, some like trouser kind of things that aren't like, cargos but aren't like chinos if that makes sense so i'm gonna see if i can find any of them and that means i can go for a little walk get some steps in um and everything's honestly pretty tidy because i cleaned yesterday so we'll see what other fun things i can think up to do today um i might do some research for the philippines this afternoon honestly because we really need to start planning what we're gonna do um, and I haven't done that yet, so I could potentially do that today. I might do a little bit of reading. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's go and get ready for the gym. <laughs> We are munching a little bagel. I've got my smoothie and we are gonna go. I've written a little list of things to do today. So we got gym, clean kitchen, H&M to get Callum stuff. Edit, they get ready with me. I filmed this morning. Then I'm gonna film a little June favorites for TikTok. Um, can I get this lid off? And then I also have to fake tan. Um, because I have my Duke of Edinburgh award on Friday, which is so random because I literally finished my gold Duke of Edinburgh in like sixth year at school. Um, and I've done a whole degree and a whole diploma and I've just never been able to make the award ceremony. So now I can. So yeah. Or I think I could and, and then it was COVID and then it got cancelled and then... Then I couldn't go, so here we are. So let's head to the gym and do our little high rocks. We also have so much fruit to eat. So you're gonna have to chop that up today to make sure it gets eaten. Cause we're not wasters in this house. So let's go. We made it to the gym. So I'm gonna do my high rocks, swim, sauna, out. And then we will go and get on with the rest of our tasks.
So we are cleaning up and I'm just about to go to H&M for Callum. However, the sun just came out and now it looks gross again. So I'm slightly concerned that I'm gonna get rained on. But I had another one of those tuna pittas for lunch today and it was absolutely delectable. Um, just put like a bunch of cucumber and red pepper, or it was actually orange pepper. Um, and now I'm making a little coffee and then I will head up to H&M to get Callum some low closies. Um and then, yeah, then I'll come back, do some tidying up, do some TikToks, um, but the New Heights episode is out today and I think it honestly might be out like now. Yeah, 2.30 on the dot, it is out now. Um, so I feel like what I might do is wait till I'm back and watch it on the TV because I don't like listening to it's fine but then I feel like I miss things so I think I'll just listen to some tunes and then watch it when I get home. I feel like it is raining. What is summer in this country? Like it actually does not exist. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and put um a jacket on. So I'm gonna make a little coffee, take that with me, and then we shall head. So let's go. We have the keys and we have the phone and we have the AirPods. Do we have the AirPods? Where did we put the AirPods? Oh, the AirPods are in there also, and we are heading to HM. It is so crazy how light it is outside still. Like it is 1018. And we have sat on Callum's Excel spreadsheets and worked out fun tax calculators to see how much money we'll have on our pensions when we're 55. What? I'm telling them about your tax calculator. Don't tell your YouTube channel about my tax calculator. Why? We're so supposed to be spreading good financial information. Delete this. No. Delete this. No. So then we just watched TikToks for ages, cleaned up. I showed Callum all his new clothes and he likes them all, which is a win. And he said that he has never done a haul before where he's not had to return one thing. So he said that I get all of the points, which was so good. And then we had chicken and katsu sauce with some rice and the tastiest asparagus ever for dinner. Um, I totally forgot to show you. I feel like whenever Callum comes home, I get so distracted because I've not had anyone else to talk to apart from you guys all day. And then when he comes home, I'm like, oh my God, interaction. And then I just totally forget about you guys. So tomorrow, what the crack is, is we are going through to Granny's, but me and dad are gonna go to the gym first and we are gonna run a 10K. Um, Yeah, so me and dad are gonna go to the gym in the morning and then do a 10K and then we're gonna drive through, I'm just gonna leave my car, we're gonna drive through to Dundee, see Granny, come back, then I'm gonna go to the shop Slater's with Callum because he needs to get a suit because we've got a wedding in two weeks and he doesn't have one. Um, and then we're gonna vote for the general election tomorrow. So we're gonna vote. And then on Friday, we've got the do you Edinburgh thing? Then I'm dropping mom and dad at the airport in Edinburgh. Then I'm coming back. And then we've got the weekend. Where on Saturday we're going bouldering with some of our friends from school, which will be so fun. Um, so there's six of us. And like there's Caitlin and Gregor who we both went to school with, Kyle who we went to school with, and then his girlfriend Berta, and then me and Callum. So it's gonna be so much fun. We're really, really excited about that. So we're going bouldering and then we're going to Caitlin's for dinner after. Um, so I'm actually so excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So tomorrow I will take you guys to the gym in the morning. And yeah, I will see you then. Oh my God, I also ate like an entire watermelon. Like this is how I eat melons now. It is so genius. So like you literally just cut the top off and then you just eat it with a spoon. It was the best thing ever. So I literally scrammed the entire melon myself and Callum had the other like third.
Good morning, you guys. We are having quite the turnaround this morning. Callum was away. Um, we had to make him pasta this morning for his lunch because we forgot to do that last night. Or not forgot, we just didn't. Um, I actually don't think I said it out loud, to be quite honest. Um, and then I had to get all my stuff ready, which I also should have done last night, but didn't. Um, for the gym and then we're going straight to granny's from there so i need to have like all my shower stuff change of clothes all of that etc etc speaking of i do not have underwear in my bag i'm trying not to get my bagel in my stuff right secure the goods i do have socks um so yeah, I need to leave at half past. It is 22 past right now, so I have eight minutes to eat my remaining one half of bagel. And um, we'll be on the road. Busy old day today though. Busy, busy day. So yeah, we got 10K, drive to Dundee to see Granny, come back, go to Slayers to help Callum get a suit, go home, vote, then I need to fake tan before tomorrow, so I've packed all that stuff into my bag, so um, I can do it at home. Whole set too. Honestly, today is crazy, but yeah, I will see you guys on the way to the gym. It is time to go. It's 8.30. Let's go. So we are back from Granny's. Dad just dropped me off at the flat and then I am um, waiting on Callum finishing work. Then we're gonna head down to Slater's, which is genuinely not that far from here. But I don't know if you guys can see. Ah, oh, I get, I guess that's why it was shut for so long. So see down here, this is the stage for Transmit Festival, but I think they have fair rides. And that's why, because they've basically closed off the entirety of Glasgow Green, which I thought was genuinely super weird because I didn't think they'd be allowed to close it off for that long. Um, but yeah, they've obviously got like rides and stuff there too, which makes more sense why it needed to be closed for that long. But yeah, we went for a walk down there the other day when we headed out and I was like, the entire, literal, whole thing is closed. Um, but yeah, because it's not for two weeks. And I was like, I feel like that is so excessive for an amount of time to set up for a festival. That's like a tiny festival. Like, they have two stages. Um, and there's like, Calvin Harris is, is headlining this year, to be fair. Which is kind of impressive for Transmit. But... Yeah, that is in there. So I'm now just boiling some water to make some pasta to heat up the remainder of the bolognese that I made the other day. I'm just gonna have that for dinner. It's like 5 p.m. right now. Then we will head home and we will vote. Then we will do our fake tan and all of the rest of the stuff that we need to do. So I'm also gonna need to wash my hair again tomorrow because I obviously washed my hair after the gym today. Um, and then there was no, I forgot conditioner, which was so dumb. Um, but I have this like Elizabeth Arden oil that like I put on my body, but it says on it, you can use it for your hair. And I was like, my hair will be like a literal rat's den if I don't um, put anything in it and then leave it for the whole day. So I put some of that in it and now it's just like, it looks like it's still wet <laughs> so i'm gonna need to wash my hair again in the morning i reckon or tonight i don't know that was silly for me though stupid but what can you do okay so i'm just gonna boil some pasta and wait for calm to finish
Okay, the fake the fake tan has been done and we are prepared for tomorrow. I still have to decide on a dress, but I feel like I will do that tomorrow. Um my best friend Katie gave me like three options that I have already tried on all three and I know I like all three, so I feel like I'll just wait till tomorrow, see how I feel, and then pick one of those three to wear. Um and yeah. I'm just gonna clear my bed and then yeah Callum got his suit as well which is good um it was actually really cool like the whole place sorry I'm just hanging up my dressing gowns the whole place was crazy and you basically got like passed along to like different people like he was like I need a belt and there was like a belt lady like and he they were like I need a shirt there were shirt ladies like he needed the suit there were suit ladies and like they he tried it on, then they measured him, and they do like free, um, they do free like tailoring in there. It's genuinely so cool. He spent like 260 quid, which to be honest, for like an entire suit, I honestly don't even think is that bad. So, yeah, if you live in Scotland, actually they had them all over the UK, it's called Slaters. So, it's actually amazing. So he got that. We came back, we voted. And then I just came back, did my tan, watched the surprise songs, of course, on a YouTube stream. Um, and yeah, I probably just need to deal with this stromash that I've left here. And then let my tan dry and we'll probably go to bed. It's 9.51. Okay, I am ready to go. This is the fit, I'll show you in there. My room is an absolute stromash because I have been getting ready, so this is the little dress, some heels, and then my hair. I did a little, I don't know if you can see, maybe about over here, a little fishtail braid. I used um, Taylor Swift's Super Bowl hair as inspo, so I thought it was so cute, so we did that. And yeah, we are ready to go. So we booked a restaurant called Chaku for dinner, which is like an Indian. And then I will drop mum and dad off at the airport in Edinburgh and then I will drive back. So I'll take you guys with me. I don't think I can take you in. Maybe I can. I'll put you in my bag anyway. Who cares? Let's go. Hello, you guys. We are back. <sighs> I am prepared. So I'm at home. Seems super echoey in here. It's really weird. Um, I dropped mum and dad off safely at the airport. And yeah, I'm back home now. So we had, we went to this place called Chaku for dinner, which was unbelievable. So let me show you what we had. So, is this so at the front there, we had these like tandoori, prawns then there was like chicken tikka we had butter chicken chicken tikka masala uh lamb chops bombay potatoes this like catch cumber um we had rice and then we got a naan also and it was unreal it was so tasty so yeah we had a great time it was a great day they're off safely um well they're technically not even away yet their flight isn't until like quarter to nine so they were at the airport mega early but they were like we didn't have anything else to do so we just came back actually what i'm gonna do is take my hair out because i've got these little braids i wish i'd worn my pony higher um like i wish i'd worn it at like this height rather than lower so that's annoying but here we are um so yeah what did we do so we got there um, and I honestly was super surprised. They didn't like check our bags or anything. I would have thought like anywhere near any member of the royal family and you would be like completely checked, but they didn't check our bags, which was weird. Um, and there was like a little speech by uh, Prince Edward, who is the current Duke of Edinburgh. Um, what else? There was like little teas and coffees and we got given like Duke of Edinburgh, like DV, um, like keep cup kind of things for coffees, which was really cute. Um, and then after the little speeches and presentations and stuff, we basically just boosted. 
we went round to check out. We were super early actually, but they were completely dead, so that was really good. Um, this is crazy. This is gonna be the frizziest hair you have ever seen in your whole life. Um, yeah, and we had lunch, and then we literally just drove to Sainsbury's mum and dad changed their clothes into like some something comfy because dad was in like a full suit mum had like an actual like whole dress on and everything I just got changed in the back of the car when dad was driving um and then I drove home and here we are and so I'm probably just gonna find something on the tv um and then yeah I'm probably not gonna eat anything because it's seven o'clock and I'm pretty full from lunch so it feels as though that'll probably just be me for the day because we ate a lot. So this is taking fishtail braids out is genuinely the most annoying thing in the world, but what can you do? Okay, so this is the current situation. Um so we're gonna tidy this up before I go to bed because I don't want to have to do this in the morning and I honestly don't feel like it'll take me that long so I'm just going to do this now. So yeah, let's do it. And it is as easy as that, guys. Love that for me. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth and get ready for bed. Hello, you guys. Happy Saturday. So, it is, honestly, it's the afternoon at this point, I think. Yeah, 1.35. I just read, I finished this book today. Um, so I literally have just sat for about three hours, I got up at like 20 past. I was like awake at like half eight, was on my phone for a little bit and then got out of bed at like nine. Um, came down, got a coffee, spoke to mum and dad um, and then literally read for the entire morning because I was like, oh, I don't wanna just sit and like doom scroll on my phone. So I was like, let's do a little bit of reading and then I got super into it. It got so good. So I finished the entire book. Um, so I need to go and get the third one uh, from the flat, which I will do today because we are obviously heading in in probably about an hour, I would say. So it is 1.36 right now. Um, and we need to be at the bouldering place at four. And then we're going to Caitlin and Gregor's after that for some food. Um, I was gonna go to the gym 
and then my book got so good that I just genuinely couldn't stop reading. So yeah, that's okay. Um, so yeah, that is that is all that is really happening, to be quite honest. So yeah, I had some strawberries, yogurt, and granola for breakfast, and then I literally have just been chilling. So I've just smothered myself in oil. Um, I've been using, I got this turmeric oil um, and it's from the same brand that does like the rosemary oil, like the big tubs um, or not tubs but like the big like glass like things of rosemary oil um, and then I got one that was turmeric oil and I had just never, like I was like okay that's weird like don't know put it in my cupboard and then I was home a couple of weeks ago and like my skin was so dry um and i saw that and i was like hmm, maybe that'll be like super good to just like lather my skin in and like i'll be super moisturized and i used it and i was like oh my actual god this is unbelievable um and genuinely my skin has never been as as soft as that so i was like perfect this is my new favorite thing so i have just been completely dousing myself in turmeric oil which is super fun um, so I just did that and I'm just waiting for it to like soak in before I put my leggings on because I'm wearing like light coloured leggings to boulder in so I don't want them to look like greasy or something weird. Um, so I'm just going to let it seep into my skin and then I'll get dressed and we'll get coffee and head in. Honestly I'll probably wait to get coffee in the flat because my coffee's better than here. I like the flavour of my pods better. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm just, Callum is back home now. He was being a little workhorse this morning and yesterday after his actual whole job. So he'll be exhausted, bless him. Um, and then he leaves for France tomorrow. So I'm gonna come back here because the bins need taken out. So I'll come back here and then go and pick mum and dad up from the airport from here rather than town. So yeah, it's all crazy. But anyway, I will update you guys later on. So bouldering on the weekend were super good. Um, it is Monday today and mom and dad's flight was canceled this morning. So they have just been in London. The birds are going crazy. They've been in London for an extra day. Um, and I'm picking them up in Edinburgh at 8 p.m. So I was supposed to leave this morning at like half six and mom was like, she texted me at like half past five and was like stay in bed the flight's cancelled I was like oh man so I woke up at 6 30 when my alarm went off for me to like I was supposed to leave like just before seven and I was like perfect so I went back to bed Callum's flight was also cancelled for France so they've had like the craziest journey ever to try and get to France for work so yeah crazy crazy day but I hope you guys enjoyed this week um and if you guys love the weekly vlogs then oh that's just Callum updating me um on his journey but oh. um yeah if you guys enjoy the weeklies then let me know and I will do these more often but yeah I am just gonna go and make some dinner and head and pick mum and dad up to round off the week but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did put a little lilac heart in the comments just because my nails are lilac um and yeah make sure to like this video if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with everything being a lawyer in like a month so that's crazy but yeah i will see you guys then bye